Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog once more here on Mog's Cast, playing some more Project Zomboid with you folks today. And this time, instead of trying to hit the garages for finding uh, construction materials, we're actually going to be heading into into the uh, the residential neighborhoods. That's going to be my plan today, I think. Uh, I'm going to be trying to hit some of the garages up there to see if we can find some spare tools, since the uh, the storage garages and storage facilities that we hit down south of an episode or two back didn't pan out for us. So we're going to be trying something a little different today. Eating up real quick just so that I can kind of get all set. I'm depressed. What? Well, why don't we do this? Never mind. Reduces panic, reduces pain, reduces tiredness. That's spectacular. Why don't we grab something to, uh, something to entertain ourselves with? Boredom reduction. Magazine boredom reduction. Yikes, I don't got anything for, for depression. That's fun. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna deal. Just hoping I could knock that out, but that's fine. I need to start thinking about not using my dang baseball bat as often. Okay, so let's head on out. Uh, I think I'm gonna eat another apple while we're at it. Eat all. Thankfully, I can keep moving. I'm glad you can do that, at least. And I'm gonna cut through the woods here, hoping to possibly save myself some hassle and encounters with uh, zombies if I can help it. Spiffos. Let's, I think we want to head up a road. I think the houses with garages are going to be a little closer that direction. One down. Wait, what was that? Ring and pearl necklace, okay. Yep, oh yeah, we're gonna head up this direction. We've probably got another zombie or two coming in at us here. That's fine. Not too big of a deal. We can handle a couple. But I do think I want to hit the tree. Never mind. I don't want to hit that tree line. Get out of my face! No axe there. Yikes! It's actually a pretty good concentration of zombies around here. A uh, friggin' amazing concentration of zombies. So, with that in mind... Take out a few. Let's go ahead and reload up. And we're gonna lose them, hopefully. Uh, let the sound get drawn, uh, or draw a bunch of those guys to that location. And then we're gonna head up and out as quickly as possible, as you can tell and then keep moving. And they're kind of wandering into the field. I've gotten a good, good amount of distance between them, so that's going to work, I think, for the time being. We may have a few stragglers that still come looking for us. That's not a big deal. I can handle that. Just kind of reconcentrate a bit of those. Uh, those zombies wandering around there. So it looks like we're up into possibly where I initially started. I don't recall exactly where I started at, but it looks like there's some dead corpses, dead zombies around here, so I'm pretty sure I've been here. Uh, I'm going to take another another uh, road over and see if this is where we start seeing garages. It might be a road to our south, uh, south side. I am not positive. But I do believe it is, so let's head on that direction. Is this a dead zombie? Yep, okay, cool. Possibly this line of houses. I'm not seeing very much. Okay, we're just going to keep going. I believe it's a... I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a few blocks in, but I thought it was kind of midtown. No, stop opening that. What's up, zombies? Follow me. That's all the ammo I had loaded, so let's load up a little bit more. Oh, I almost got bit there. But we're good.
Good enough for me. Gaining some skill points, I'm pretty sure. Light-footed aiming. Yeah, we did. Now we're out. I'm gonna switch back to man melee. Let them kind of just trail out over there. And we're gonna head down south of the road. They gotta be around here somewhere. I'm positive of it. But first, I think we're gonna try to check one of these houses. This might turn into a multi-day uh, venture. Depending on the type of luck we have here. Might have somebody in here in the bathroom. Doesn't look like it's a bathroom, but let's check here. I did hear pounding. Maybe it was one of the windows. That's fine. Let's grab another uh, apple since they're here. Why don't we grab some corn? And the pie. Let's grab the pie. Yeah, that'll work. Let's eat that pie. No, no dirty jokes. I was thinking it. I wasn't going to say it. No dirty jokes comment section. Okay, let's take a peek here. Uh, you know what? Do we have a can? I'm pretty sure we have a can opener back there. Let's take some dry foods, though. Since it's a good idea to have extra dry foods, I'm going to take that cooking pot because I don't think I have one. Take the yeast because I'm unsure. I haven't seen that before. Uh, let's take... Not the tote bag, thanks. And drink up a bit since it looks like uh, Matthew Smith here is getting a little thirsty. What have we got? Some canned beans, chips. Take all that, toss it in. Take it. Okay, there we go. Good. Second there, I didn't think it was going to transfer. Nine mil rounds. Let's take a few of those. And you know what? We're grabbing a replacement baseball bat because ours is a little damaged. Sheets are going to go in. Let's check this other cabinet, because this is usually two. Yeah, there we go. Candle, some more sheets. How about this? Some cigarettes, I guess we'll take them. Oh, come on. That should be uh, like a pack. Just be grab it. You're not individually taking these things out, are you? I mean, you would be once you're using them, but not if they're just sitting there. You don't pull them back out of the dang thing. Come on, game. Okay. So we got a few things loaded up here. Let's do the last quick check here. Cooking for intermediates. Master fishing. Let's grab that. Advanced fishing might as well. I haven't really taken stock of what I actually have. Cooking for intermediates. I think I just have that. Expert carpentry. Expert cooking. Farming for beginners. Uh, da, 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 looks good to me. Oh, you're right out front. Boom. Yeah, enjoy that. Okay, over we go. Looks like I may have gotten those uh, zombies' attention, but it's not a big deal. Here we go. Here's some friggin' garages. That's what I'm looking for. Take it nice and easy here. Thankfully, I think those gunshots we did earlier kind of drew a lot of them away. So you shouldn't be in too dire straits. Sweet fishing net trap. Awesome. I've never actually seen that. A box full of nails. Some more nails. Some more scotch tape. That's great. That's one step closer to being able to repair our baseball bat here. I just need one more scotch tape, though I think two glue might also do the trick, which I do have now. Duct tape, wood glue, more nails. I'm down. Okay. Is that going to do it for the shelf? Sure looks like. What's up, lady? Boom! <laughs> Double tap there. Check the corpse. Nothing that we need. Hey, ah, oh, you fuck. I thought I was far enough away from that glass. That's unfortunate. Let's hop in here. Check this. Nice! We found ourselves a hammer. Friggin' finally. Thank you, sh uh, friggin' garages. That was a uh, good call. Somebody was on the Steam forums telling me about that. Uh, propane tank. I have a feeling that's gonna come in handy. 
but it looks like we can't carry it, at least in our bag. I might have enough room to carry it here. How much does it weigh? 20 pounds! That's gonna get us killed. Okay, that... No, that's staying here. Drop that. That's great, but uh, I, I can't handle that currently. And there's our, our some more scotch tape and nails, so that's perfect. Box of nails, how many nails do we have? 35, that's fine. Okay. Well, let's head on out of here. Hopefully I remember where that's at. Because that would be good to get, I think. Ah, looks like we found a few. That was an odd zombie noise, wasn't it? That was like very synchronized, like doubles. One more here to go. Down you go. Let's check some corpses for axes. Painkillers. Pencil and oh god, you're still alive. So I say I didn't think he killed him, or I didn't think I killed him, but then he didn't move. Nope, let's get the fuck away from that rustling. Wait, 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 wait. Is that here a zombie? Oh, there it is. There is one inside. Let's see if we can pop this open. There we go. Come on out. Here, come here. That's gonna be too close, isn't it? Okay, cool. Once again, no axe. That's fine. Some more glue nails and wood glue. Well, we're definitely getting some good construction material. I do have nails now. I can actually start bare. Well, I can. I gotta find planks now. But if I can, f the last thing I really need to get cranking on construction at a base level and at least get started is some. Oh, there's some boxes here actually. Uh, is that uh, I just need to be able to get some planks and uh, I can use an axe to get planks. If I can do that, I would be a happy, happy camper. Get away from me! Okay, let's take a look here. Looks like this is a, a house under construction. Garden spray can, kettle. A lot of good stuff in here. Let's take a look in here. Sledgehammer, oh my gosh. This would be spectacular if I could carry some more stuff. Hammer. Let's grab the nails while we can. Duct tape, we'll try and stuff that in there too. More nails. Come on, fit it in there. Nothing more? Okay, fine. How much is this? 25 pounds. Or no, was that right? 25 pounds? 6 pounds. Ooh, you know what? 6 pounds I can handle. I need to eat a little bit, but I can handle it. Let's eat up an apple. Let's grab a drink. And then we're going to actually make a sprint back to the storehouse because we are full. And it's getting late. Drink. Perfect. Pop that open and we're going to start moving. Do this quickly before my food boost of strength runs out. And get our sprint up at the same time if we're able. That would be ideal. God, we got a ways to go on sprint, don't we? If I pulse it and just keep hitting shift a lot, does that give me any sort of boost? I don't think so. Okay, we're getting slow again. We need to rest. I do have a point. I don't really want to put it in, in, in that. I want to save it for either another level in blunt or sprinting be what I'd like to do. Definitely getting drowsy. It is getting to be about that time of night. About uh, 8 o'clock right now for our character, Matthew Smith, here. And, okay, we are going to take the long road, go through the woods. Or at least through the backyards, I guess. Get off those main streets, those main things. It looks like that was possibly by the school. Okay, take it easy. Oh, it looks like they're getting called to something. Let's, uh... 
Let's not worry too much about that then. You guys are following me now. Give them a second to rest here. Alright, I keep sprinting. God, sprinting just does not go up, does it? Just super slow. Oh, nice. Gunshot. That should help draw him off of us, too. Uh, trying to move around here. God, this is going to be dark again for you guys. I need to make sure that I uh, get the brightness corrected on these videos. That would definitely be ideal. If you guys see these videos posted and they are too dark, let me know. Because I usually adjust with the uh, in YouTube like uh, video editing bits. I, I go through the enhancements and crank up the brightness one or two clicks depending on how bad it is. But it's not perfect. I don't... I use Fraps and uh, Windows Movie Maker, unfortunately, to do the recordings uh, and editing, so take that as you will. If you have any tips and tricks for increasing brightness back to a pretty good level, that would be great for me to know. And I would highly appreciate your feedback on it. But let's go ahead and drop a few things off, get rid of that sledgehammer, and even ourselves back out on weight. Start tossing away some of our construction bits. Duct tape can go in. Fishing net, I think I'm going to put with the gardening stuff. It's all food related. Toss that, toss the nails in. Got some more rope. And we do have two more scotch tape going in. Should be just about ready to go in. We're going to toss in the wire, toss in the wood glue. Uh, the yeast, I'm pretty sure that's a dry good. So that shouldn't be a problem going in with the other dry goods stuff. Oh, come on. Matthew, you can get this stuff put away. I believe in you. It's going to take a while, isn't it? Each nail individually, dropping them one by one into a jar or some shit. Or worse, just leaving them out and laying on the thing there. Can't you just take a handful? That'd be nice. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and call this episode. This uh, is keeping Matthew Smith here a bit up uh, late a bit here. So we're going to call this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Cheers.